Friends, thank you for uh, joining me about this update with Lily. So I um, really appreciate that. You know, we, we appreciate the support. You know, thank you for being here on our channel and liking and subscribing and sharing. And, uh, you know, this journey with, with Lily, man, it is stressful and, and it is really hard, not only on the dog, but, but hard on myself. So let me give you an update where we're at. So this week, today's Thursday, just so you know, so Tuesday of this week, we had to take Lily back to the emergency hospital where she was treated after the accident. She was uh, had her blood work redone and because uh, we were checking to make sure that her liver levels, I can't remember, they called them liver enzymes or what it was, that that was extremely off the charts if they'd come back down to normal range yet. Because we have her on some specialty liver medicine along with gabapentin and, and another nerve uh, drug that is supposed to help regenerate nerves or, or control nerve damage. So we have her on all of those. So we wanted to see if the liver enzymes were back in range and they are not back where they're supposed to be, but they are really, really close. They're only about 10 to 15% above normal. Uh, <clears throat> the day of the accident, her liver enzymes were so high they couldn't register and the numbers were just, just through the roof. All of her blood, other blood work came back looking good. Now, remember I told you guys that they told us that they are more than likely will have to amputate her leg. And and I don't want to do that. I've been opposed to that. And, you know, we're we just hoping and praying that, that we don't have to cut off this poor dog's leg. And she's laying in my lap, by the way. So, um, and, you know, and, and let me just say this real quick. For some of you folks who, who don't think dogs have feelings or when they know them, when something bad has happened to them, you got to be crazy. My dog knows that her life has changed forever. Um, she, my dog's not, Lily is not a warm and fuzzy dog. Daisy, our other winter dog, is warm and fuzzy. But since this accident, Lily can't, doesn't want to get away from you. She wants to sit on you and be close to you and stay warm. And she knows something traumatic has happened to her. So for all you folks that don't think dogs get it, trust me, they get it. But anyway, that vet at the veterinary hospital said, you know, we're going to have to amputate the leg. I mean, that's what's got to happen. Here's what's going to happen there, you know. And I'm like, I, I don't want to do that. And I wanted to schedule an appointment with, with my vet. That's Daisy. Um, and we did that for today. We just got back from there today. But when we at the veterinary hospital on Tuesday morning, we saw a different vet, and that vet told us not only about the liver and the blood work, but she thought there was some improvement in the leg. She's like, I can see where she's moving it some, and that there, there's, there's a little glimmer of hope. I'm like, okay, I'll take whatever I can get. So, so today we went to our vet. <clears throat> Now look, let me tell you this, our vet's a great vet, and right now, we this past Saturday night, our region of the country, we got smacked by tornadoes. So my vet's office literally got hit by a tornado. So he's still treating his animals, the animals, his patients, with no electricity, right? But he has generators running and his staff in there, and he's still doing what he can even though everything around him is almost destroyed due to all the tornadoes we had right here in Arkansas. So I appreciate the fact that he actually kept the appointment to see Lily today because I really wanted to get a second opinion from him since he's been their vet, their vet from the days they were born, both the dogs, Daisy and Lily. And so uh, we talked to him today. We gave him all the medical records and all of that stuff from the veterinarian hospital so he would have that. And he did a pain stimulation test, and Lily's this is Lily's left front leg is the one that that may have to be amputated. Now, what was really strange today was the outside of her foot registered nothing. I mean, it's so bad that he over over pinched, and he may have broke her toe, and he caused it to bleed. So we have her on a cast right now, all taped up because he was trying to get her to react to the pain stimuli in her paw, and he thinks he overdid it a little bit. So that was really bad news, because he's like, look, if there's no, no pain, if she can't sense any of that, 
it's going to have to come off. And Lorelai told him, I said, you know, but I think she's getting stimulation on the inside of the leg. Because in the last few days, when she's walking around, and I got a video I'll show you maybe of her trying to walk on three legs. Um, but in the last three, four days, she started to yelp a little bit at times when she moves her legs. It's kind of like uh, she when she accidentally hurts herself. It's like, you know? And so for us, that's promising. So Lorelai said, but hey, what about this? So he checked the inside of the leg and the toes, and those showed response. Now, it wasn't as quick as this leg when he did this one. It took a little bit longer, but it did show some response. All right, sorry about the background noise. Um, but he doesn't know anything for sure yet. And so here's what we're going to do, because he recommended, look, as soon as power gets on, back on into, into our area, and he can set up his operating room, he wants to take her arm off. Um, but now that he found that the inside has a little bit of, of sensation to it, he's like, he doesn't really know. He's like, that's very unusual. And so we're going to bring her back there on Monday. Today's Thursday. So we come back next Monday. He's going to reevaluate things. Hopefully he'll have power by then so that he can do a better exam. And we'll take off the bandages and the cast and make sure her foot is in, in still condition. So um, we don't want to have her leg taken off. And, and I told Lorelai and I told our vet today, even, even if it has to come off, we're going to postpone it to the last then we absolutely have to do this. I want to give those nerves a chance to regenerate. You know, Lorelai is spending time massaging the leg and trying to stimulate and um, massaging the, the shoulders. We're doing everything we can to keep blood flowing and keeping the arms moving, doing a little bit of physical therapy with it. We're doing everything we can so we don't have this, so that Lily doesn't have to have her leg amputated. But I, I don't know. So that's my update for the week. Sorry for all the noise in the background and the dogs barking. So I just want to say uh, thank you for all your kind words and support for Lily. She's a great dog. I just, I can just tell it, it's going to break her spirit. I hope it doesn't, but I can just see it in her. It's, you know, losing her leg is going to be a major, maybe it's more traumatizing for me. I don't know. I feel bad, but I can just tell where it's, 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 uh, it's not in her personality. But anyway, thank you, and uh, we'll give you an update next week when we learn more. But we appreciate you.